I'm not original. A self-limiting belief that really takes the cake. Let's talk about it, bro. it. Welcome back to another video. And today's topic on the self-limiting belief is I'm not original. I was talking to somebody about this and they go, well, I'm not original. I can't come up with anything for the life of me. Well, that's why we're talking. And it's good that you're trying to grow. And if you're not trying to grow, well, guess what? You're not gonna be original. Originality is something that comes out of you experiencing new things, trying new things, and then creating new things. I made a video on the self limiting belief on creativity. I'll link those in this video above and below and do watch them. The idea here on originality is that you need to work towards trying new things. And if you don't try them, you'll never be original in anything. So let's really dive into this from a perspective of what's going on in your head when you start something new. I see this a lot with creative types, especially YouTubers lately, because I've been talking to them, and they go, well, I can't be, I'm not creative enough to be original. What? Yeah, I can't. Okay, great. So what are you doing? Copying other people? Is that what you're doing with the content you're making? Well, no is the answer always. So what are you doing? Well, I mean, like I can actually make something that's authentic, that's really me in a way I want to present it. And it's always something that I've seen before or something that I've seen similar. I've tried to create, make this, that. It's a good start though, don't you think? Because let's face it, this self-limiting belief is something that pops up when we're working to be creative. In order for me to be creative, well, I need to learn the basics. I need to learn the things people are doing. I need to start somewhere and then apply those things and the things that I'm coming up in my head in a way where I can actually have creativity pop out and originality comes from that. So step one is really looking at your emotional state. If you are feeling like, hey, there's you know, I'm not original, I'm not gonna make it, then you need to ask yourself, where's that coming from? What's happened? What's happening? And what do you need to do to get into more of a positive vibe? Which would be to look at your expectations. What are your expectations? Do not tell me you wanna be the next Peter McKinnon. Overnight, have it as a goal for a long term. Now, how do you get there? Well, you gotta do all the small things that all the YouTubers, the video guys, the photography guys, all of them do. And really look at this and say to yourself, all right, how do I go recreate some of this stuff so I know how to do it? Because when the time comes for me to apply it somewhere else, well, now I can. And there is some creativity that pops up. And now I'm gonna use whatever I use, shape it a little bit better for the situation, and voila creativity comes. As this process progress and you look at your planning on the expectations, those baby steps, that growth that's happening, that theory that's happening, and then of course the practical, the experience you're getting, well, originality will come from that. You will get into your own groove because you're gonna start doing certain things that nobody else is really doing in the same way. And it'll come out of nowhere. It will start building up as long as you're focused on that growth. And if you're not, well, you're gonna be focused on self-learning belief. And eventually you're just gonna quit whatever you're trying to achieve right now. Of course, this comes back to accountability and it's all based on that integrity. Are you making the right decisions at the right time or are you allowing emotions to take over? I have friends that I call up and I'm like, let's go out and shoot, let's go out and do some pictures. And oh, I'm too busy right now. What are you doing? Well, I'm just spending time with somebody. Oh, okay, so your wife needs time, your husband needs time. Okay, great, have your time, but when are you gonna shoot? This is happening a lot. I have other people that, you know, they, they wanna get together and they, they wanna work on business ideas and flourish their businesses, but they don't take the time. And they go, well, you know, I can't come up with any ideas. Well, how are you gonna get any ideas if you don't go and collaborate so you can see what everybody's learning, that theory, and then try to apply something to what you're doing? I think I'm making my point. Really understand that focus has to switch or shift, you would say, towards that area of growth. And once it does, originality that you're looking for will come because creativity will start to flourish. My name is Nikos Rentas. This is Mentorship Post.
gmail.com. Hit that like button if you like what you see. Of course, hit the subscribe button to get your daily motivational idea to get you moving in the right direction. Of course, leave your story below. What did you do when you weren't feeling original? Or what are you doing right now to get into that original space? The mentality, that is. Drop your comment below. Who knows? Somebody might be watching this. Read your comment and you might help change the life. Snow again.